recent development in the theory of market demand is the dynamic version of the demand function or what are called as distributed lag models. Nurlov's stock adjustment principle and Hotheker and Taylor's habit creation principle are two popular distributed lag models. These models use the concept of lag. Lag is an important concept in economics. In this video, you will learn about the different types of lags that may exist in an economy and how economic agents can uh, use the concept of lag in order to take important decisions. Check this out. Winter is approaching and you may want to buy warm clothes for the winter. What do you think will be the factors that will help you determine your demand for winter clothes? The first important determinant is undoubtedly the current price in the market. What about the winter clothes that you already have? I am sure you thought about it because you will definitely not throw away the clothes you purchased last year or the year before. You may have few favorites as well. This means that your current demand for winter wear depends on the quantity you demanded the previous year or the year before or maybe even before that. You are familiar with this demand function. Now we may write this function like this such that QT is your current demand. Again your current demand depends on your demand in the previous year or the year before. We can represent the demand in the previous year as QT-1 and the demand two years back as QT-2 and so on. There is a gap involved in this demand function. This gap is called lag and such models are called lagged models. Let us see what can be the reasons for such lags. How often do you change? A general tendency is that we have a habit of settling down so that we feel comfortable. So once we attain that satisfaction level, our tastes and preferences, likes and dislikes remain the same. If you are accustomed to a particular lifestyle, you will take some time to adjust to some other lifestyle. This gap between two points of time gives rise to the concept of lag. This is the mathematical expression for the Hotheker and Taylor lagged demand function. T is the current time period. QT is the current quantity demanded. YT is the current income. PT is the current price and QT-1 is the quantity demanded in the previous period or the lagged demand. Hothecker and Taylor argued that the quantity demanded in any one period depends on the quantity demanded in previous periods due to human nature. Most of the economic theories are based on the assumption of perfect information. But in reality, perfect information is rarely available. When the market is unpredictable, the reaction to a change in the market price may not bring about an instant change in the quantity demanded. What if price changes again? Only when economic agents are sure about a permanent change, will the changes take place. This again gives rise to the concept of lags. Have you realized that by the time you try to adopt and adjust to a new technology, there is already some other advanced technology in the market? It becomes difficult for most of us to keep pace with changing technology 
because we need time to understand and get used to the new technology there are two factors how fast you can get the information and how fast you can adjust and both need time that creates a lag the shift in technology brings about many other unseen changes a labor intensive production process will take time to adopt a capital intensive production process firms need time for employing skilled workers who are fluent in the new technology or may take time to train the existing workers an institution or organization has defined rules and policies a change disturbs the environment and the rules and regulations have to be changed accordingly this again requires time the management administration and workers take time for implementation Based on the reasons discussed we may have different categories of lags Today's consumption or expenditure depends on yesterday's income Production takes time you do not get what you want instantly so there is time lag between production and consumption This is the time interval between existence of excess demand and increase in production cost or price of the product. Sellers may not increase the price immediately. When price rises, workers demand high wages, but employers do not increase the wage immediately. Monetary policy is the policy that targets inflation. interest rates or money supply the changes in monetary policy do not immediately change aggregate spending the commercial banks also take time to make adjustments fiscal policy is a policy by which a government adjusts its spending levels and tax rates to monitor and influence a nation's economy The decision taken by the government this month to cut tax rate of the corporate sector was an action taken. The impact of this action will be visible only after some time. This lag determines the effectiveness of the fiscal measures. This lag comprises of administrative lags and operational lags. So now that we have moved ahead into a dynamic economy try to visualize the economic problems from a dynamic setting by doing so you will be able to construct models that will explain the economy in a more appropriate manner